Stop record speech off. Hey guys, so this uh technology gave me more here. Um I am currently I'm using the Vandir V A N D I O R. It's my portable pocket radio I got. I got this radio uh, Sunday, this last Sunday, <coughs> and I'm having an issue with it because every time, for NOAA, for NOAA weather, which I'm, is what I'm using right now, um, every time I try to, every time I, I'm gonna put it down. me so anyways what I'm what I'm doing right now I have the radio going right now for K KHB 32 serving Tampa St. Pete uh, Clearwater it's serving Hillsborough Manatee those counties well anyways anyways the problem I'm having right now is this station is not coming in. This station is not coming in very well, but when I have my hand, but when I hand my hand over the sensor and I turn a specific way or whatever, it comes in just fine. And every single state, this has 10 or 7, no, has 7 channels, and I just put some batteries in it Sunday, so the day before I actually tried listening to it. And the problem I'm having right now is this, where I'm going to put you up a little closer. Hey, watch. River statement for the KHB 32 listening area. Listen. Elevated water levels continue on the couple area rivers. FLD observed forecast 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Listen. Time location STG STG Daytime Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Cypress Creek SR 54 Worthington 87.7 7. Tuesday 9 p.m. 7.8 7.5 7. 7. 7.16.76.5 East River Arcadia SR 70 11 8.2 Tuesday 8 p.m. 9.1 9.9 10.3 10.4 10.1 The current time is 8.20 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Tide forecast at St. Petersburg, low tide Wednesday at 8.35 a.m. High tide Wednesday at 2.52 p.m. Low tide Wednesday at 8.42 p.m. High tide Thursday at 2.25 a.m. The tropical weather outlook issued by the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Issued at 7.34 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. For the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, active systems, the National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on Hurricane Kirk, located over the central tropical Atlantic Ocean. Northwestern Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico, a broad trough of low pressure is producing a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms from the southwestern Caribbean Sea into the southern Gulf of Mexico. Environmental conditions could support some gradual development of this system, and a tropical depression could form over the weekend as a broader disturbance moves fully into the Gulf of Mexico. Interests along the United States Gulf Coast should continue to monitor the progress of the system. Formation chance through 48 hours, low, near 0%. Formation chance through 7 days, medium, 40%. Eastern Tropical Atlantic L91, showers and thunderstorms continue to show signs of organization in association with an area of low pressure located a few hundred miles south-southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. Environmental conditions appear conducive for further development of this system, and a tropical depression is expected to form during the next day or so while it moves slowly westward over the eastern tropical Atlantic. Formation chance through 48 hours, high, 90%. Formation chance through seven days, high, 90%. These are the 8 a.m. observations for the local area on Wednesday, October 2nd.
At Tampa International, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 78 degrees. The so right now it's coming in just fine. Relative humidity, 84%. I can hear it coming in no problem because I have my hand pretty much on the sides and part of my fingers on the back. Plus it's laying like on the bed. The temperature was 80 degrees, the 2.75 and the relative humidity 84%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.89 inches and rising. At downtown St. Petersburg, it was clear. The temperature was 82 degrees, the 2.77, and the relative humidity 84%. The wind was north at 3 miles an hour. I'm gonna need some the help pressure was with this a little bit. Inches and rising. At Lakeland Linder International, it was clear. The temperature was 75 degrees, the 2.75, and the relative humidity 100%. The wind was calm. The pressure was 29.90 inches and steady. For Elsewhere those who the region, fog was reported know a about this. Of 74 at Brookville, 76 at Winter Haven, 75 at Bardo, 75 at Kissimmee, and 78 at Punta Gorda. At Sarasota Bradenton Airport, it was clear with a temperature of 77. It was partly cloudy with a temperature of 77 at Orlando and 78 at Fort Myers. It was clear at McDill Air Force Base and Venice Municipal Airport. It was partly cloudy at McDill Air Force Base and Venice Municipal Airport. Marine reports along the coast and offshore buoys. At the sea man site at Venice. Winds were northeast at 3 knots. Sea temperature 86 degrees. Air temperature 77 So I'm going to go degrees. ahead and move my hand away. See now... It's actually losing connection now. It's losing signal. <coughs> so, my mom was saying it could be the... It could be something with the radio itself. I don't know. Could it be the batteries? Can bat can low batteries cause that or no? Because... I just... I just put some batter. I just put batteries in it. I just put AAA batteries in this thing on Sunday. So this is what it does, and Hurricane Kirk. That's come that unusual unusual storm should be coming in to the week to the pretty much the south part of Gulf of Mexico. Sent right now, right now it's in the central. Right now it's in the central Atlantic. Right now it's in the central Atlantic. But if you guys know what the issue is with this radio, please let me know. Please let me know or post in the comments because. I, 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 re I really want to know what the heck is going on because it should not, it should not be like this at all. So if you guys have any I, information about this, please let me know about why this radio is not working because I really do want to have this working like it should. And all the other stations, this is the only station that comes in. Other than that, pretty much nothing else comes in at all. WWG59 doesn't either. I don't know if any, I don't know if any stations are off the air. But either way, either way, please, please let me know what's going on. Because I really could, any help would be greatly appreciated at this point. So, yeah. Stop recording. Button.